This is one for all the movie buffs. <laughs> More actually, so we found this little shop. I won. I got two guys. <laughs> Here, Marion and Chris, and we've been traveling full time since May 2018. We must be insane. Whilst attempting to drive around the world in Trudy, our home on wheels, this happened. All British travellers abroad are advised, advised uh, to return now. As borders closed around us, we decided to wait it out in Turkey until we were able to continue our adventure east. Welcome to Turkey! Today is a filming day and we're here in Çanakkale. And what do we love best about filming days? We're going to be trying some of the local food. We're going to be looking around at some of the local sites. Welcome to Çanakkale. So the first stopping point today has to be some breakfast because we are starving. It's early in the morning <laughs> and uh, we haven't had any breakfast yet. Or coffee. Or coffee. So let's go and see what we can find. Starting with a lovely cup of coffee. Comes with a bit of Turkish delight and some other little nibbles there. Mmm. Cheers, my loveliness. I couldn't wait for the camera. I started already. <laughs> That's all. Mmm. Tisha couleur. <laughs> Thank you. So isn't this just the best way to start the day? We've ordered a couple of gozlemes and some cigars. Yeah, they're cigars with cheese in them. But when we ordered one Gozleme each with different fillings, we had no idea that it was gonna come with <laughs> chips and salad. So um, yeah, this might do lunch as well. This might be uh, brunch. So for anybody who hasn't had Gozleme before, it's like a really nice flaky pastry and it's got different cheeses or potatoes or different fillings in. Uh, this has got to be my favorite snack ever. So we're gonna dig in now and um, we're going to enjoy this one. I'm going to give it a shot. Morning. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. Oh, but first we're going to show you these. These little cigar things. These are like got cheese inside. They're almost like little cosmetics with little cheesy bits inside. And they're another naughty little snack for breakfast. We are refueled. In fact, it's actually late morning. I don't know where the time goes. And we've eaten far too much gozleme, so we I, need to walk it off. I love three hour <laughs> breakfast. It's just the best. <laughs> Absolutely. So we're gonna take a walk down the coast, down the seafront here and uh, see what we can find. Walking along the seafront here at Chanakale, we have arrived at a giant horse. The mythical war of Troy actually happened about 25 kilometers south of where we are here in Chanakale. And uh, we're gonna be heading there probably tomorrow. But this horse is very cool. This is one for all the movie buffs because this horse was part of the set for the movie, the blockbuster movie, Troy. And uh, the Hollywood company very kindly gave it to the people of Chanakale afterwards because they felt it was probably best fitting to bring it here. So it was Brad Pitt that starred in the Hollywood movie, Troy. What a prop. I mean, it's really, really tall. You can see me stood here, how tall it really is. And looking at the side uh, of the horse there, you can see the little hatch where the door opens. Very cool little memorabilia here. So right next to the Trojan horse, they've got this wonderful model of the city of Troy. 
that would be a really interesting place to go so we're definitely going to head there after Janakali as we continue our journey south that there's something really lovely about the seaside towns they tend to have these lovely big esplanades cycle tracks so you can get out and get some fresh air and just um, visit these places they're so beautiful it's a massive tourist uh, place on the tourist trail but for us we're really enjoying being able to get out and smell the fresh air we've stopped off to look at the boats and although it's a great day, a really grey day, you can actually see the water is really clear. And I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but this water is literally teeming with fish. There are so many fish in this water. In fact, Chris and I are hoping as we get down to the south coast, we're going to be able to do some diving and we'll be able to bring you some underwater shots as well further along the south coast. Fun fact about Chanakale, it's not only a city, but it's also a region. In fact, the Chanakale province is only one of two provinces that has territory on both the European and the Asian side. The other one is Istanbul. Woohoo! <laughs> so we're currently on the Asian side and across the water here is the European part of the Chanakale province. So Chanakale, this region, holds significant strategic importance because it is, is where the Marmara and the Aegean seas meet. Hence, it's the joining of Europe and Asia and is a very important trading route. And heading up the Dardanelles in this direction, it joins Istanbul and then goes into the Black Sea and connects Russia and all of that region. For those of you that saw our last episode, we, uh, we slept at the Boomerang Bar, just under the Turkish flag on the hill there. And uh, we drove all the way around and we took the ferry from the European side from this town over to Chanakali here. The sun is trying to break through today, but it is a little bit of a cloudy day. Um, but it's warmed up, it gets quite cold uh, in the evening this time of year. Which is, for those of you watching, we're at the beginning of November. It's quite a busy city, uh, but the roads are really well laid out and they've got these fantastic cycle tracks and loads of pedestrian areas as well. So it's really safe to walk around um, and you can enjoy some of the pavement uh, coffee culture and hanging out and enjoying some food by the sea. We're lucky enough to be traveling in our van, so we have accommodation wherever we park. But walking around Chanakale, there is a lot of different types of hotels, hostels, and B&Bs. Some of them, like the one behind me, right on the seafront. One word of advice, unless you are coming specifically for the Anzac Day memorials, then I would avoid the 25th of April because all of the hotels, B&Bs and hostels here get very full. And the architecture, look how wonderful is this building here. That's really nice. we already have our own wheels in Trudy and we're able to drive around and visit all the sites but if you do come here to Chanakale um, and you don't have your own wheels then there are lots of tour groups that come down from Istanbul um, so if you want to check out the coaches we've seen Pamukkale coaches, Truva coaches um, but you can get a tour from Istanbul. So if you're lucky enough to have your own transport and want to get from the European side to the Asian side, there are regular ferries that run across. 
There's no bridge joining uh, the peninsula and the Asian side at the moment, but they are currently in the process of building one. If you're looking for ATM machines, there are lots of machines dotted around the city. But if you turn left as you come out of the ferry port, there is a whole bank of them that you can see behind me. Chanakale is definitely on the tourist route and uh, lots of people visit here every year, but it is particularly quiet at the moment, uh, probably due to the world situation with COVID. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, I'm sure it's much quieter than it normally is. So we've walked further along the coastline. Got all the, all the fishermen down here. There's an old naval boat parked up there. Looks like an old war boat. Yeah. So walking along, there's all these restaurants. You can smell the seafood. All the restaurants here. One thing um, Chanakali is famous for is sardines. And uh, there's, you can definitely smell the seafood in the restaurants here. There's a naval museum here in Chanakale, uh, but unfortunately today at the moment um, it is closed. We think maybe it's due to uh, the pandemic at the moment. And you can see on the other side of the water, on the European side, there's a huge castle. It's definitely a, t a sign of the times right now uh, with COVID that lots of the places that you would like to visit as a tourist and as a visitor um, are closed. And uh, there is so much more that we would like to bring to you um, and it's just not going to be possible. But we hope that you get a taste of Chanakale and that it inspires you to either come in your van or get on one of those tour groups and come and see this lovely city. We've stepped away from the seafront now. We're walking down um, the side streets and uh, it's just so nice down here. Hustly bustly, lots of little food shops. Wow. Now we're on stock to look at, look at this. fish plates. Turkish. Oh, Turkish. Turkish. Very beautiful. Nice, they're beautiful. Made in Turkey, hand painted in Turkey. There you go, like lovely. That. But not in Trudy. Not in Trudy, but look at that. Price. 45. That's beautiful. Like this, look, waffles. And donuts. Oh wow, look at that. That looks seriously good. <laughs> That's huge. I don't think I could eat one that size. <laughs> Maybe later. Maybe later. Well, there's all these little side streets with little eateries. How lovely. Nice, right? Oh, the smell as soon as you come into the shop. You've got all these different spices. Lots of di different Turkish delights. What a wonderful shop. All these snacks. Oh, nuts. Nuts. These snacks look really unusual. What's this? <laughs> what are these? What they look, that I've never seen. Something different. Unusual. Is it sweet? Oh. Yes, yes. It's sweet. Sweet, yes. We're going to try a little snack here. It looks really unusual. Thank you. There you go. What is it? Taste it, love. Let's have a go. Let's have a look. It looks like there's nuts or something inside. See yeah. There. Oh, is that date? Oh, is it date? No idea. No idea. Let me try. No idea. Slightly sweet. 
nutty because of the nut. It's nice, nice. Sweet. It's got walnuts in it. It's called Kome. So we couldn't resist buying a few of these snacks because I've never seen them before. And in fact, I don't actually know what they are. Comment so, below. <laughs> so let us know. We're, uh, we're gonna give them a bash. So these look very interesting. So we'll try one of these. Should we try one of these? Why not? <laughs> and one of those? Why not? What does that look like? One of those. Hmm. Borek Chilik, so we found this little shop. Everyone told us we had to try this if we came to Chanakale. Hello, Mehaba. <laughs> wow, this is very exciting. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. And how do you call this? Borek Chilik. Burek. 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 Yes. Burek. So it's like a... Adana Burek. Adana Burek. Yeah. Oh, is it from Adana? Adana. Okay. Adana. Uh, yeah. okay. All right. So let's give this a go. So it looks like flaky sort of pastry with cheese. We've definitely got our fill of cheese today. Oh, it smells good. It's hot. Mmm. Mm, super. Really stringy, lovely cheese. It's mm. all hot. Wow, that was absolutely delicious. It's really nice just to get out and just get lost uh, in all these little hustly bustly streets. Walnuts. All fish. It's kebabs, shoe shops, lots of people outside having cups of tea, food shops, street food, clothes. It's got it all going on. They got lots of lovely clothes shops. Marianne's just having a little sneaky look, aren't you love? <laughs> streets just go on forever, don't they? Little cobbled streets. They just seem to go on and on and on. Lots of uh, lovely things here. Do you want a bit of Hawaii? I want a bit of blue for the van. Blue for the van, I'm not sure. Blue flowers. This is obviously the material on Wool Shop Road. I'm buying two meters of that to go in the front. Mine is in the Are you really? I am. <laughs> you lunatic. Why? Trudy's so beautiful. She will be with blue flowers. To go with her blue seats. I can't leave her alone for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, walking around with a mask and glasses. Your glasses keep steaming up. Does anybody else have that trouble? <laughs> There's a little market down there. Oh, oh that's pretty, isn't it? Yes, it's very nice. <laughs> so we've come down into this little indoor market and there's, it's very, very colourful. There's lots of different bits for sale here. Welcome to Turkey Thank you very much. <laughs> There's a lovely little indoor bazaar here. Um, it's actually called the Mirror Bazaar. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for little souvenirs, Chanakali bits. <laughs> Chanakale pottery. Chanakale Ceramics. pottery. And ceramic. There's lots of uh, lots of that here. We've come into a fabulous little shop called Ceramics by Elif, um, who was saying that uh, ceramics were going out of fashion, but now they are on the comeback. And she's just been showing us all these beautiful items, and everything is handmade by Elif. And Elif is over there. <laughs> <laughs> so she's busy at work making her hand crafted pottery. Uh, we're going to put a link in below. Um, if you come to Chana Kelly, come and check it out. I've been trying to persuade Chris to let me just have one thing in the van and I might win yet. 
So originally, Chana Calais was an Ottoman fortress and its name was Calais-i Sultani. Later, it became famous for its beautiful pottery and so was called Chana Calais. In fact, Chanak means pot and Calais means fortress. I won! I got two first, <laughs> and there was nothing Chris could do to stop me! Woohoo! It's, it's Ellis' fault. Look at that! <laughs> and that's perfect for the colour of the van. Look at that. So these ones, they don't have any handles, so we thought maybe it can be a little wine glass or a coffee cup. Perfect. Yeah. There you go. I love it. Thank you, Beautiful. Ellis. Beautiful. I thank you. No, thank you. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, you have to crack it open. Oh. oh, there you go. Ah, I understand. Oh, it's oh. a roasted. What is it? An it's almond. An almond. It's an almond. <laughs> Lovely. Ooh. We were just walking along, and there's this machine toasting almonds. I saw this lovely lady just gave us one. Teshikula. <laughs> right. So we've come back to the van. We've made a cup of coffee, and we're going to try these little snacks that we've got. Now these ones here that look like samosas are also are actually called muskers. I have no idea what that means. We've never seen these type of sweets before in um, Turkey. So uh, it's a new experience. So if anybody can explain any more on them, please do let us know. Oh, it's really hard. Let's just bite it. Let's just bite it. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, go on, take the first one. <laughs> I think that's helper in there. It's helva inside, it's really nutty and lovely. Oh, it's, it's very chewy. Yeah, I'm not sure what the... Um... I've just put the whole thing in. Did you? It's like really like springy, stretchy. It's very chewy. It's nice though, it tastes mm. nice, nutty. Mm. Mm. Right, so let's try the other one. This is another version. It's quite sticky. It's very sticky on the outside. I don't actually know what's inside it. It's like helva, but this is wetter and stickier. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure. Nice though. I like the sweetness, but then once the sweetness goes, it's this. It's a bit of a chewy. It's a bit of a chewy. Doughy. Not doughy, it's like chewy, jelly, sticky. <laughs> this little one here, we took a photo of the label, it's called Pestil Tatlisi Findicli. So Findic is nuts. Yeah. Right, give it a bite. <laughs> I might lose the filling. <laughs> it's really chewy, isn't it? Again, it's the the harder outside. Not as nutty. It's not. It's not my cup of tea. Yeah, that's not my favourite one. <laughs> <laughs> right, hold on. What's the next one called, love? In your best Turkish. Pestil, tatlisi, choco. Findy. <laughs> it looks a bit nicer this yeah, one I think. Yeah I could cut this one with a knife so I'm thinking I'm going to enjoy this one more. It's probably not so chewy. Can I try, try it? Can I try, try it? it? Go for it. Mm. Is that better? That's nice. Nutty, datey, plummy. Mmm. That's nice isn't it? It's softer, it's like chewy. Almost tastes a little, it tastes a bit like sherry. I was going to say Christmas pudding. Like the, you know that alcoholic. Yeah. Like. It actually tastes. Plummy. Yeah, plummy, plummy sherry. Sherry. Yeah. Porty. Porty. <laughs> Porty. <laughs> so we had such a good time walking around Chana Calais today that after we bought the glasses, we popped back to Trudy yeah. to drop them off, and uh, we've come back out. We don't normally come out too much in nighttime. A bit noisy the motorbikes. <laughs> it's all the delivery people, isn't it? It's like yeah. the delivery. So we've come we've come back out. We're gonna have a little walk along the seafront and see how it's lit up at night. But we've come across the clock tower that you can see behind us that is beautifully lit up. Yeah, in fact all the fish shops were closed all day and we were wondering whether it was due to COVID. But obviously all the boats Hello. were out. Hello. And our, and our 
Hello. <laughs> Super. Um, so obviously all the boats were out getting the fish, and this evening all the bit, all the fish shops have opened. They suddenly, they? yeah, they're full. Yeah. In fact, the town almost comes to live at night. All the shops are still open and everything. It's yeah. about half past six in the evening. Yeah. And uh, let's go and have a look around evening here in Chana Calais. It's funny how the feel of a place changes as soon as it gets dark and the, the Trojan horse that we came to earlier today looks so different, it's nicely lit up and all the lights along the harbour is very pretty. Very pretty. Very pretty. So you got all the fishermen have come in and they're gutting their fish and all the cats they know the cats know that the fisherman's gutting it because they get all the all the leftover bits so we got told we had to try Paneri Helvasi so we've come down to the seafront with the Paneer pudding, which is actually like a cheese pudding that we bought from the shop. Yeah, it says paneer, which is cheese, but it doesn't look like cheese. So I'm expecting it to be like a sweet cheese. It looks a bit like a sponge cake. It's a bit crusty on the outside and gooey on the top. Oh. That's really sweet. Almost tastes doughy, sweet, cakey. It is like uncooked cake mixture with <laughs> cheese. I have to say. That's a bit odd, isn't it? But it's delicious. I like that. Do you like that? I'm not sure. I know, I like that. I would definitely have that. That's lovely. That was definitely a good recommendation. I like the crunchy bit at the bottom. Mm. Yeah. The verdict, I would definitely give it a go because I like it. Would you eat it again? And because I love him, I'm happy to give him my share. <laughs> I'm happy. So walking along the seafront, we've come across this little fish slide and I've challenged Marianne to come down it. Do you want to give me the bag? <laughs> How's it go? Any old nuts? Any old nuts? Any, any, any old nuts? <laughs> Love, we've just hit 39,000 subs. Woohoo! I reckon we should do a live chat when we hit 40,000. What do you reckon? Uh huh, why not? And let's give some merch away. Oh, you're still there. We would like to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to our channel. Thank you very much. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, press the bell notification, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.